Ever wonder what's the best exercise for your core? Spoiler, it's not this. It's easy to think of your core as a muscular corset that surrounds and supports your lower back and waist. But the actual core muscles come in multiple layers surrounding your trunk, with their fibers crisscrossing in every direction. That's why you can bend, twist, and rotate your waist while doing the nitty gritty. Because the core is so complex, researchers use electromyography, or EMG, to measure which exercises light up each core muscle the most. And here's what the science says. Rectus abdominis, or your six pack. Forget endless sit-ups. EMG studies show rollouts, Planks and heavy squats activated far more strongly than regular sit-ups or crunches. The internal obliques, Swiss ball pikes and rollouts, and rotational curl-ups or oblique crunches raise their activation the most. Interestingly, you can add laughter to the list, meaning a good laugh is worth a plank or two. External obliques, side bridges, knee-up exercises, and single arm raises are the cream of the crop. Transverse abdominis, the deep ab muscle that stabilizes your spine. Bird dog suspension planks and ball stability drills target it the best. Erector spine aid. Not surprising, deadlifts, bridges, and back extension exercises top the list. These aren't just back moves. They're essential for a complete core workout. And lumbar multifidus. Another low back muscle is used the most with prone trunk extensions, bird dogs with load, squats, and deadlifts. So training your core isn't just about crunches. It's about a smart combination of these lifts, planks, and stability work. So don't think a core training is just working your six-pack rectus abdominis, but more about building a 360-degree muscular fortress around your spine. And that's the core nitty gritty. As always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.